Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to get the Windows 8 Consumer Preview on your Windows device or Mac. Okay guys, before you begin, if you're using a Mac, the easiest way to do this and to have all the drivers work properly is to follow our original how-to for loading the Developer Preview on a Mac. If you haven't done that, you can click on the link there to be taken to that. Once you've completed that procedure, then you can come back to this procedure from within Windows on your Mac, uh, within the developer preview, and we'll show you how to get the consumer preview working from there. Okay, now from within Windows, like we are here, you're gonna click on the link here to get the consumer preview from Microsoft. Okay, and so you can put in your email address and select your country if you want, or you can just click on the download Windows 8 consumer preview button beneath it and wait for that to download. Okay, once that's finished downloading, we're going to simply click it to open it. Yes. and follow the on-screen setup, clicking next and following whatever it needs you to do. Okay, at some point it will show you this product key. Um, whichever one it shows for you, just take a picture with your cell phone, for instance, um, of the product key, that way you have it for later. Don't write it down in Notepad because if you can't access Notepad, you can't get to it and during the update process you might not be able to. So like I said, take a picture of it with your phone and uh, then that way you have it when you need it. Okay, so if you're using Windows, obviously, then you're done. Uh, after your computer reboots a few times, you'll be presented with the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Enjoy. If you're using Mac, however, um, you may have booted back into the Mac OS uh, when, during the installation process. What you need to do is you need to turn off your computer and then boot back into Windows, let it finish doing what it's doing. It'll reboot again back into Mac. You need to boot back into Windows and keep doing that as many times until it's completely installed. Now once you are done though, what may also happen is you may not be able to connect to the internet because the drivers are not installed correctly. So go back to your Mac operating system, then go to Applications, down to Utilities, and Boot Camp Assistant. You're gonna click Continue. You're going to click download the latest Windows support software from Apple. Click continue. Then you're going to take a blank CD or DVD, put it into your CD-ROM drive, select burn a copy, and click continue, and wait for that to burn. Okay, and once that burns, just boot back into the Windows operating system. Put that CD in. Uh, it'll automatically, or it should automatically prompt you and ask you if you want to install the stuff that's on the disk. Say yes, go through that normal process. Uh, the computer will need to be restarted once again. After that, you now can use your brightness keys on your keyboard. You can uh, adjust the volume using your keyboard. A lot of other stuff that is normally built into the Mac computer that you would do in Mac, you can now do in Windows as well. Uh, that includes using your wireless uh, connectivity, uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, etc. So it's pretty important. So once you're done doing that, you're all set and uh, enjoy.